Hello fellow hackers of the blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to paint black very easily and stay tuned because at the end of this video I will be showing you several different recipes to apply this same technique to achieve different uh, tones of black with a simple swap of paints. Let's get cracking. Well, as usual and as you can see, I have already the basic wood applied of black. Any black will do. I use Abaddon Black from GW, but honestly, all blacks are more or less the same. Uh, a note on, on, on blacks. The more matte a black color is, the, uh, the less dark it will appear to the eye. Uh, that's just how, how paint works. The more satin or gloss a black is, the, 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 the darker it will look to the eye. So for our first step, I will apply an edge highlight with dark ripper. This edge highlight is just that. It's a fat edge highlight, so don't be, you don't need to be very neat, just apply the edge highlight on every fold, every edge. As you can see, the first highlight with Dark Reaper is now dry, and we will apply a second one. This will be a normal edge highlight, so try to be neat. Uh, cover less area than the than with the Dark Reaper, but the process is just the same. Apply it to the edges. Also apply it to the top parts of the folds, like so, like here, here, and here. The second highlight of Thunderhawk Blue is now done, and we will move to our last highlight. That's it, only three steps. This will be Fern Breeze and Grey. Dilute this paint quite a bit. Don't load your brush too much. And do it very finely. We will apply this just on the most exposed edges, corners. And tops of the fall or the folds on the top out. And with that last highlight of Fernusian Grey, the black part is finished. Coming up, I will show you several different recipes that can be applied in exactly the same way, with different colors to achieve different effects. Uh, for example, one more, this is a bit, a bit cold, one more neutral and one more warm. So you can see you can apply this with other different colors to achieve different effects on the black. But black is a very quite easy color. The only thing you have to, the only thing you need to have in mind, is that um, most of the of the of the part that you want black must be black in order to uh, register in your eyes as black. So if you're doing edge highlighting, that's the perfect technique for painting black. If you happen to have very um, flat, rounded surfaces when you obviously need um, some kind of highlight, apply the same method, just using uh, glazes to build up the, the, the different colors, but the technique should be the same. But for most models like this, or like Space Marines or whatever, a simple edge highlight is enough. So 
so as always I hope you like the video and I see you in the next one love 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 oh wait a second that felt weird is that my catchphrase <laughs>